This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I scale multiple subtools? So here I just have Earthquake loaded in, and Earthquake consists of eight subtools. And say I want to scale Earthquake up or down. How would I go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So there's two options for this. The first option is to use the deformation panel. So here I just have Earthquake's body selected, and I'm just gonna scroll down here to the deformation panel right here and open that up. And in here you have a bunch of different processes you can use on your model. Now anything you do in this deformation panel has the ability to be replayed across multiple subtools. So if I come to Earthquake's body here and say do a size down, so just make sure I have X, Y, and Z on, and then just scale them down like so, so negative 100 right there. And as you notice that the selected subtool scaled down by that negative 100, but the other subtools did not scale. So if I want to apply the size deformation now to the other subtools, how can I go by doing that? Well, on the bottom of this deformation panel, there is a repeat to active button and a repeat to other. The repeat to active button will replay the last deformation option you've chosen to the selected subtool. And the repeat to other will replay the action that you just performed to all the visible subtools. So once I have Earthquake scaled down negative 100 for his body subtool, I can simply come here and click repeat to other, and it's going to scale all the other subtools down as well. So I can repeat that process just one more time. So I'm going to scale Earthquake up. Say we'll do 66 this time, or 65. And now I'm going to do repeat to other. And you can see all those other subtools have had that same deformation applied across all of them. So this repeat to active and repeat to other works for any of these deformation options. So if I want to twist Earthquake's body like so, I can do repeat to other, and it's going to twist all the other subtools as well. So this is really handy in just deforming all your subtools pretty quick. Now the second option, I'm just going to select this file here, is to use Transpose Master. So here I just have Earthquake, and I have a chair that was just quickly modeled with the Z Modeler brush. Now I want to get Earthquake scaled up, so it looks like he could actually live in the same universe as this chair, because right now he's looking a little bit tiny, the chair is looking enormous. So I'm going to use the Transpose Master to achieve this effect. So I'm going to go up to the Z plugin option up at the top here, and I'm going to open up Transpose Master. Now with Transpose Master open, I'm simply going to click on T-Pose Mesh. This is going to run through all the subtools that Earthquake has, and it's going to generate a new tool. So now I just have this tool over here, and it just consists of Earthquake and his chair. And if I open up the subtool palette here, you can see it's just one single subtool. So I just want to scale up Earthquake and not the chair. So I'm going to hold Control and just mask the chair out. And this is just going to leave me with Earthquake unmasked. I'm going to get out of perspective here, and then I'm going to go over to the Scale Transpose option and draw a transpose line out like so, and then just scale up Earthquake. And then I can move him as well. So now he looks, you know, roughly, say, the size I want him to be in relation to that chair. Now I can clear my mask, and I can go back to the Z Plugin tab up here, and I'm going to click on T-Posed to Subtool Mesh. And when you click on this, it's going to take all those changes we just did in Transpose Master and apply them back to the original model. So now you can see that all of Earthquake's tools have been scaled up, and he's now this size compared to that chair. So those are the two quick ways you can scale up multiple subtools. So you can use the deformation panel along with repeat to active or repeat to other. And then you can use the Z plugin Transpose Master to also scale it up using any of the transpose options at the top of your screen. So I hope that helps. If you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.